functionalism, the mind as computer program. The analogy between the brain and the computer eventually led to a new theory in the philosophy of mind, which became known as functionalism. The essence of functionalism is the idea that the mind, although completely dependent on the brain for its generation, is once generated a separate entity with its own independent existence and modes of being. This view was based on the idea that the mind was a product of a set of causal relations between material entities. The material out of which these entities were constructed did not matter. For example, it was now clear that machines could process information using electronic valves or later silicon chips. The fact that the brain used organic neurons no longer gave it a monopoly on computation. This position enabled functionalism to escape from the problem of species chauvinism, which dogged identity theory, and also to revive the folk psychological notion that the mind is, at least partly, independent of the body. Under the influence of early theories, such as Alan Turing's concept of the universal machine, functionalism conceived of the mind as programs operating on the brain's hardware. Different mental states were realized by different programs. Just as Turing had theorized that a computer could run an infinite number of programs, so too can the brain generate an infinite number of mental states. Functionalism became the dominant philosophical approach to the mind-body problem in the new field of artificial intelligence, since it promoted the field's core objective of reproducing human intelligence and even consciousness in machines. Functionalism was a sort of compromise between Cartesianism and reductive materialist systems of thought, such as behaviorism and identity theory. On the one hand, it rejected the Cartesian claim that the human mind was non-material and existed outside of time and space. Functionalists accepted that the mind was generated by and ultimately dependent on physiochemical processes in the brain and body. On the other hand, functionalists unlike reductive materialists, did not regard the mind as identical with these material processes in the brain and body. For functionalists, these neurophysiological processes simply underpinned or instantiated inner representations and other internal symbols and their manipulation by algorithms. These create a set of abstract causal relations which constitute the real basis of the mind. Functionalism can thus be described as a form of non-reductive physicalism. Physicalist insofar as it accepts that the mind is housed in and ultimately dependent on the physical structures and processes of the brain, but non-reductive in that functionalism does not reduce the mind to these material entities. 
in functionalism, the mind has its own independent reality separate from the brain. This explains why many researchers in psychology, artificial intelligence, and other fields have no interest in neurophysiology and or brain anatomy. For these researchers, belief in functionalism means that they can study the mind without reference to or even knowledge of the brain and its workings. This assertion of the independent existence of the mind came as a great liberation from over half a century of intellectual domination by behaviorism and other reductive theories. These had flatly denied or trivialized any role for the mind in the human or any other organism. This sense of liberation among academics and researchers may strike many lay people as ironic, given that the computational theory of the mind is often seen as reducing our human dignity by depriving us of free will and other commonly accepted human capabilities. This irony can perhaps convey the power and depth of the previously dominant reductive outlooks.